Hi, this video is on accessing library resources off campus, talking about some tips and tricks if you encounter issues when you're searching. The previous two videos we did on accessing library resources focused on first on OneSearch, so searching our library's catalog, and then on accessing a specific database. This one's going to be a little more general, so if you run into certain types of errors, what you can do to try to fix that. So first are some best pra practices. So first thing is use a fully featured web browser that has been updated to the most recent version. So whether you're using Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Edge, just make sure you've done any of the up-to-date, uh, any updates that have been required for it. Make sure your Adobe Acrobat Reader is up-to-date for the PDF files. While most of your browsers can read a PDF, sometimes you need to fully download that PDF and open it in Acrobat Reader if the PDF's not reading properly. And it's always safe to make sure your computer is protected using some kind of virus protection software, firewalls, and any kind of adware or spyware protection. While the databases directly provided from the library are safe, if you're using Google Scholar or just general searching on the webs, the articles you run into that way, while they may or may not look legitimate, may also run you into some of these other things. So it's just another good sort of general tip to make sure you're safe while you're searching for things. All right, so some general tips are always start at the library's homepage. If you run into problems, re the best way to kind of first thing to troubleshoot is restart. Go back to the library's homepage and access from there. So the lib.fit.edu. If you typically use a specific database, while you can bookmark that homepage within the database, after a certain amount of time, it's going to lose its connection to the library and you're going to have to re-authenticate. So if you've been using ProQuest, PsycInfo, ScienceDirect for the last month, three months, and it's been working fine, but all of a sudden it stopped working. Usually that means it lost its authentication. So if you go back to the library's homepage, re-access that database, re-sign in with your Trax account, typically that's what has happened is you've just lost that authentication. Uh, sometimes you need to try a different browser. So if you were using Chrome, switch to Edge. If you were using Firefox, switch to Chrome. Uh, Mac users should always try Safari first. Uh, you could also try a private or incognito browsing. So sometimes the issue is the website, the database has done an update that is incompatible with the current version of Chrome. Or Chrome didn't update and the database hasn't caught up yet. So those are frequently things that get figured out pretty quickly, but you could be trying to access this stuff on a day where they're interacting poorly. So always try a different browser. Um, you can also try clearing your history, cache, cookies, um, that stored data. Every so often they start that starts interfering with your searches, if you, especially if you heavily use a specific resource. Um, sort of on the opposite side, is making sure that your co your cookies and pop-ups are enabled and allowed on trusted database sites. So certain websites, unfortunately, these database sites will only work if you have cookies enabled on them. Also, some of them, how they open your articles and things like that, are considered pop-ups from your internet browser. So for certain sites, you may have to allow that to be able to access the content. Um, Additionally, some internet monitoring or blocking programs, browser extensions, software ad blockers, private windows may not be fully compatible with the library's electronic resources. Try disabling it and see if you can access the e-resource again. Again, I can't give you a specific list. That's one of those things that changes and updates as different services kind of lock things down. So some pot potential issues are Chrome's not opening PDF links or aren't opening links or PDFs. Sometimes just clicking on it doesn't work, but sometimes if you right click on it and have it open in a new tab, it will. Sometimes the EBSCO database, the remote access 
has some issues and that's one of the places that using a private or incognito window could help. Full text finder isn't directly finding the article and is saying we don't have it. Sometimes it, we do, it's just not linking properly. So sometimes if you go to the library's home page and search directly for the title of that journal, so especially if it's one you know you've used before, try doing it that way. Uh, one search browser tracking issues. So that has to do with your settings. Um, so you can go into your security settings in your browser and set them to strict do not track and try refreshing the page. Uh, you're having trouble downloading multiple issues, specifically for like Science Direct. It may be going have to, you're going to have to go in and create a specific um, Science Direct account and log into that. Sometimes for others, it's just that you need to clear your cookies or your cache. So final things to remember is always go back and start over from the library's homepage. If you're having trouble finding ways to link out to the PDF or something like that, check the sides of your screen. The link you're looking for should be there, but every database is different and some of them kind of hide that get your PDF in a trickier spot. Try another browser or using incognito or the private tab. If we don't have it, make use of our interlibrary loan service. And if you do that, make sure you're checking your Florida Tech email, because if we run into any problems fulfilling your request, we're gonna email you to get more information. Also use our Ask a Librarian if you get stuck or reach out to your library liaison or me for more in-depth help. The more information you provide us, the better we'll be able to answer your questions. All right, so thank you. Again, my name is Kristen Hefner. My email, the reference email, as well as the library's homepage are here on this final slide. Thank you, have a good day.